Um, All right, so Andre Ryzen did an interview where he stated that he was um, cool with Shrug, um, good friends with Tupac. He was the, for those who don't know, he was the football player who left eye, um, set his house on fire. Did you see that interview over at Art Dialogue's channel? And did you have any thoughts on, on what he spoke about? Yeah. And why you ask me about that? You trying to give me an art mad at each other? <laughs> no. Uh, you know, I know you respect the heck out of Art Channel and what he doing just like I do. Hey, he cool. Yeah. So, uh, so for those of y'all that believe me and John and Bonfers over here critiquing everything that's said over there, that's not our, our objective and our plan, and that's not what we're doing. Um, but I just hear that I believe this is this throw two, two sides of a coin out. Just throw out a, another opinion, because I know the last thing you guys on YouTube hear becomes factual. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, so-and-so said this, so-and-so. But, but just because he said that, do that make it right? I done had a fool on, on YouTube say Keto Rock was running death row and <laughs> not Reggie. <laughs> Just because they want to make sure it was bad like he weak and he going to have a, a, a 60 crib dude run, run the company while he was in jail. Um, but I know some of y'all be like, well, he left a police in charge, but no, nah, this is a nigga he been on since he grew up. Uh, so anyway, um, All I can say about Andre Ryzen is all of that is factual. John, I think you got a picture or something where you'll see how, how much tension that was where you, I remember a situation where you was asked because uh, we did a photo shoot with Lisa Left Eye and she had Andre Ryzen tattoo, number 81 tattooed on her. And you requested her ask to remove that, to blur that out. Yeah. yeah. So I'm saying all that just to say, to say that it wasn't a cool and animal, animal cool, uh, situation. Andre Ryzen was calling up there daily, begging for to get in contact with Lisa uh, to come home. They did have a love-hate relationship. Uh, so, you know, nothing wrong with that. I have uh, heard of situations and been in situations like that myself where Guys be chasing their woman until you're done with them. You've been in that situation? I have had a situation like that. Not with my wife. You took somebody's woman and oh. trying to get her? I ain't never took nobody's woman. I have. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about that and then we get back into it. No, I just had a female in Compton, in the hood. <clears throat> when I met her, I was like, man, this 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 my chick. And uh this is about 30 years ago. And I pull up, she in the car with her dude. Oof. Nigga got her name on his license plate the whole nine. So I pulled my Cadillac up behind them. See her in the car. I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? So I tap the window and tell her to get the fuck out the car, get in my car. And she got out the car, don't do that. Fuck that nigga. So you want a bully, right? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, okay. I didn't know the dude, I didn't know where he was from, none of that. So I made her get out the car. She got in my car. She went around, and I, whatever she said to him, she got in the car. I bagged the fuck up and left. I ain't care about him. You know of another situation too. Which one? You know who? Uh, you gonna get mad at me? No, I ain't. But rest in peace, uh, Buntry doing that to somebody. Kevin Davis, sister, uh, or or or. or no, Buntry doing that to Keefe's wife, and she's doing that to Kevin Davis' wife. Well, you know about that situation. I don't know about nothing. Yeah, you do. You, you ain't. You was in the middle me. of it. You I know. Fuck, I was in the middle. He, of it. Your girl is the one that that uh introduced him. I don't know who you talking about. You don't know Pamela no more. Pam? Yeah. Yeah, I know Pam. And she used to live next door to who? I don't know. <laughs> Reg, listen. I would say this. I have been never had an issue with with Paul, never. And and yeah, so you don't want one. I I've never disrespect him. Okay. And Buntry is gone, so it, it, that's a, no man. Come okay, on. I'll give you another situation. Who? I'll give you one on your side that I caught. 
And me and I, I caught them coming out of this hotel one time. Zeke and Pat? <laughs> I was <doing> <laughs> I caught them coming out of the hotel on, on Long Beach Boulevard. Right across the street, it was the travel lodge, y'all. Any y'all know about Compton. Right across the street from where the old McDonald's used to be. And so I seen them. So I pull him over, I pull Zeke over because I knew that nigga over in Southside, I always say y'all with Zeke, I always in with the Southside, right? And so I said, oh man, I done caught this nigga getting a big, uh, getting a big load, get, picking up some. So you saying my baby mama a hoe? I ain't said nothing yet. I said for you. And so I go and say, <laughs> I look at it, I go in there, I was like, so I pull out, I pull Keefe, I mean I Keefe, I pull uh, Pam Zeke. and Zeke over, and I come like, whoa, this James woman. Well, now, see, that's exactly where you're wrong. I thought this is baby mama, this is woman. This is the chick I always see at the at the spot on Orchard when they have any parties. Right. And so I'm like, damn, what's going on? But I'm like, I'm still ain't thinking Zeke has been low down like that. He wasn't. Okay. So I'm like, I'm calling the dogs and everything over saying, these niggas got some dope on it and she got it on them. But you know, I can't get certain, I call a female officer on her. You we tear up the car. You knew that was my baby mama? You I knew it was Put her in jail? I didn't put her in jail. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, my father dope on them. They were going to jail that night. And so I searched Damn. the car. I'm, okay, I was going to take the dope and steal it in. And no, go I didn't say in. that. But anyway, they were going to jail. So I'm, so I'm jacking them, right? Thinking, I had a car to Zeke getting a big load from Southside. Go all through the car and all that. And they said, Reggie, what you doing? We ain't doing nothing. We ain't doing nothing. So y'all got to have some dope on me. Just give it to me and I'll probably let y'all go. No, we ain't doing nothing. So after I go through all my ring of a ring, guess what conclusion I came up with? <laughs> they was in the motel. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you, I ain't saying they never copped out to that. You, you see? Zeke and Pam, y'all never copped out to that. Right. Damn, can I say something? I just want to put that out there because niggas get mad. You seen Pam though, right? Pam was in the car. She was okay. in the passenger side. Now, let me, to, to, to my and Zeke. Zeke is in the home. That's why I'm, that's why I this is the only reason this comment came up. This conversation came okay. up. Okay, now, he didn't take nothing from me. Pam had three, four abortions by me, and her mama told her to keep my daughter. Damn. But after that, me and Pam wasn't no, no hella couple. Oh, Pam, gotcha. Pam used to pay. And... Nigga, Pam was over there at the house with you on Diane for the lowest. That was that was her mama house. Oh. I went there. Pam knocked on my door. I didn't know that. With me, Sharice, and my mom. Me, Sharice, and my mama was in the kitchen. I'm making uh, spaghetti. Pam knocked on the door. Pam gave me $250 to not walk back in the house and get in the car with her and go on Diane. So from Diane, I started partying. Yeah, and everybody yeah. out there knows. Every Friday night. I had a party Old Thursday, apartment. Friday, and Saturday, yeah, and Sunday. Then we started the football thing. Yeah. Then I used to give the little pajama parties and all that. All that money and, and all that shit. And, and that. Yeah. And all that came to me. Yeah. She didn't want none of that money. And she kept money in oh, my okay. pocket. So, so it was beneficial for me to, to indulge. My point is. We all have lost them to other niggas. I ain't lost some motherfucking <laughs> thing. I mean, I ain't the first nor the last to fuck now female. So more power to the little homie if he if I don't think he fucked up because he didn't. I take think him. I might have missed the dope. I no. might have missed the drugs. I don't know. How you missed? I tried. I had a lot of niggas that walked away and got away with drugs on them and be like, ah. Well, I, I ain't gonna say I ever yeah, so I'm I'm none of the homies females, but. I mean, if, if that was the case, I ain't fucking him. Yeah. Shout out, Zeke. I heard the little threats you and Fink. And you talk Fink, I will think of all people. Funny Fink. Funny, Fink. Funny Fink. Funny, but word got back to me, dog. Matter of fact, on speaking on words getting back to Red, John, I got through all another little tap at another nigga. I ain't gonna tell y'all which one that threw his little subliminal at Red. But I said something about somebody, Eric Sermon being gay, and everybody lost their goddamn mind. <coughs> lost y'all mind. <coughs> John, would you please just put up this picture for me and let them digest this and what this man was doing to Dr. Dre and let them make a decision for themselves after view, viewing this picture? What 
straight man will do that, y'all? What goddamn business doesn't matter if you just gay or not? That's his what business. straight man will do that? I hate gay. I want to see the I want to tear gays up. What did he do? I'll show it to you right quick. Hold on. Let's, change. Let's get James' reaction. Did he touch his booty? Let's get James' reaction. This is Dr. Dre and Eric Sherman in the studio. Do it play? Nah. My spies only got me to We just giving him a hug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Y'all view that picture. Bomb first piece. So if if he doing that to Dre, so you saying Dre gay? I ain't said that. Oh, keep that up. <laughs> I ain't said that. But what man will allow that? You come over there leaning my 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 leg like that. I don't be like James, nigga, get back. What, nigga, what you doing? Mm. Let's dab each other, homie. Yeah. I ain't gonna let you do that to me, James, as much as I love you. Damn. Peace out, Bomb first.